Uh, hi friends, today we will be dealing how to operate a JCB machine. We are here in a JCB plant and um, you can see a JCB machine over here and I will be explaining about you how to drive up and operate a JCB machine. So let's uh, move towards the machine. So we are entering the cabin of the JCB machine. Slowly we are entering the cabin. This is the driving seat. We have entered the cabin. Now let's identify the parts inside the cabin. This is the steering as you all know. This is the steering of the machine. Towards the left of the steering, we have this forward wear switch and uh, moving this, putting this switch to the forward will allow the machine to move forward when it is on a gear and uh, this is neutral. When you put the reverse, if it is on the gear, when you accelerate, it will move in reverse direction. Now let's put back into normal and this is the light controls on the right side of uh, the steering and this is the gear lever. Uh, it has uh, one, two, three, four gears as you can see over here this is the parking brake and the parking brake is on right now this is the parking brake brake and this is the loader control lever the loader arm uh, which is the bucket is mounted you can see this bucket and the loader arm can be controlled by moving these levers it has four directions as you can uh, see the markings uh, which will allow as in we move the levers to each direction which will allow the loader arm to move and the right of the cabin uh, to the seat we can see the cluster uh, this is the uh, warning indicators and uh, this is the speedometer, the hour meter reading, the uh, fuel level and the fuse box. This is the ignition key as you can see over here. This is the hand RPM controls uh, lever. This is the excavator side on the rear of the machine. These controls will enable us to move uh, the excavator uh, boom, dipper and the bucket. And uh, this one you can see over here is the uh, stabilizer uh, uh, ram control. This is used uh, when the machine uh, is doing an excavator, the tires are lifted uh, from the road so that uh, wear and tear can be avoided and the machine can be stable when the excavation work is doing. So this will actually lift the machine up and these are the excavator control levers. Uh, now let's see how to operate them. Let's uh, start the machine. So, uh, so for starting, let's go towards the ignition key. Now we are starting the machine. The machine is on now, right now and you can hear the sound okay this is the sound of a jcb engine this machine is powered by a jcb uh, engine and it is the heart of the machine so let's uh, drive the machine forward so i am putting the machine uh, on the first gear so we have selected the first gear and uh, uh, removing the parking brake from here and putting it forward now we are moving forward see the machine is moving forward now i apply brake and uh, it putting back to neutral now i select reverse now the machine is moving reverse you can see the tires rotating back you can see the tires rotating back okay now let's again move forward okay i am uh, moving forward right now so this is simply how to drive a machine uh, just uh, on the ignition key put the uh, gears to uh, first or second um, select the uh, lever on the left the forward reverse uh, switch um, select it to forward uh, move, put it forward uh, to reverse put it reverse so see that is simply how to ride a jcb machine and uh, let's uh, put the parking uh, brake on so this is this does, does, does not have a clutch on it because it's an automatic transmission machine with a torque converter on it and you can see uh, this is the accelerator control this is the brake this is an independent brake each of the rear tires can be controlled independently uh, you can see over this um, how they are connected so when you remove that uh, we can independently control uh, each uh, brake system this is for reducing um, the turning radius of the machine so i think you got it now uh, let's operate uh, the loader arm this is the loader arm now let's operate now we are uh, putting the loader arm up by moving this control over towards the rear see it is moving back so the loader arm is coming up so putting the loader arm down we have to control this uh, lever towards the front so let's see the loader arm is coming down now let's uh, notice the bucket movement moving the control lever towards the right will put the bucket down see now the bucket is dropping and for raising the bucket uh, up uh, we have to move this lever towards the left towards the operator so the bucket is moving up so this is how to control uh, the lower ramp side of the machine and the seat uh, now let's move towards the rear okay now we are on the rear side excavator control before operating the excavator we need to put the uh, machine on the stabilizer raising the machine from the tires so i am uh, doing that right now i am raising uh, the bucket uh, putting the stabilizer down and we can see we will uh, slowly 
uh, the machine is moving up okay so now we are on the stabilizer now now let's control let's move uh, the excavator towards the left it's moving the excavator towards the left see when i control it it is moving towards the left and uh, when i move it inward see uh, see uh, the boom and the bucket it is moving uh, slowing towards the right see this is how it's controlled and uh, for the boom to drop the boom see this is how the boom can be dropped and uh, see when the booms, boom is coming up now it's slow it uh, towards the center now let's see how to control uh, the bucket uh, see the bucket is moving see I control the lever and the bucket is opening and when I control the lever in uh, the bucket is closing uh, this is how it happens and the dipper the dipper control now the dipper is closing and now the dipper is opening so these are the controls which enable us to move the excavator side quite a bit of experience and makes it very handy to you and you can operate it like your hand uh, so this is a stabilizer control and i hope you understand how to drive a jcb machine uh, thank you